Hello, I'm Rick Schwartz, the Product Manager for Twonky Media. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use some of the new features included with Twonky Media Manager 1.2. Now I'm going to show you how to use Twonky Media Manager's new Listen In feature, followed by our new Chat feature, and then finally the new Guest Playlist feature. All right, next I'll show you how to listen in to another user's playlist. Let me switch to the Now Playing screen. Now I can see what others are playing on the network. This is my friend Ken's laptop. He's in another room, but I can tell he's listening to the Rolling Stones song, Give Me Shelter. If I want to listen into that song, all I do is click on the Listen In button. And now I'm hearing the same music out of my speakers. Now the nice thing is once I take control of this, I can do anything I want. If I want to pause it, now I can pause that song and it has no effect at all on what he's doing. All right, if I get tired and I want to skip to the next song, all I do is click on the next track button. So now I've jumped to the next song and as I said before, it has no effect on what he's doing. I can change the volume, I can start, I can stop, and it's completely independent of what he's doing. Twonky Media Manager now also includes a new chat feature that lets you chat with other people on your network. This feature works in both the Now Playing window and the Manage window. To expand the chat window, just click on the triangle in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Now I can type a message. I can tell Ken is playing some stones, so I can type a message to him by clicking in the bottom section. So I just typed a message to Ken saying, hey Ken, don't you ever listen to anything but classic rock? We'll see what he has to say in a minute here. The nice thing is chat isn't limited to two features. Anyone on the network can chat back and forth. That's really about it. When you're done chatting, you can just minimize the window, and the next time a message comes in, you'll see it here at the bottom. Next, I'd like to talk about guest playlists. Creating a guest playlist lets you select songs that another user is playing and add them to your own playlist. Here's how the feature works. When you notice someone else on your network is listening to music you like, just click on the icon for his or her renderer, which I've done now. We can see Ken's laptop is selected. Now you can select any song in the queue. So I'll select the currently playing song, which is uh, Dave Matthews' song. And then I'll move down here. And as you can see when I mouse over that, it tells me that if I click on this, it will add it to a playlist. If I notice there's other songs in here that I like that he's playing, I don't have to wait till he gets to that song. I can add those to my playlist as well. You can, say, you can tell it says item added. Now I'm going to uh, go back to my manage screen. And here I can actually see the guest playlist I've created here. So you can see Guest Playlist 1 and the two songs which I added. Now I can listen to those songs on my computer if I want. I'll turn the volume up here. So that's really about it. It's really simple to listen to the same music that anyone in your network is listening to and add any of those songs to your own playlist and then you can go back at any time and listen to those songs later. We hope you enjoy these new additions to Twonky Media Manager. For tips how to use other features, please visit twonkyforum.com. Thank you.